description. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to the 2G gang, and I hope you enjoy all the ad free viewing and emotes. I was trying to sneak it in, <laughs> but I couldn't. I was trying to be sly about it, but hey, even better. So show support, everybody. It's always nice, and it helps improve the quality of every scene. But enough of that. I believe we do have a match in our hands. We have the Shulk, Elijah Man, that we just saw earlier versus Ven with the cell that we were watching. I was watching earlier how uh, Ven was performing, and it's insane the way that Zelda moves, that this Zelda in particular moves, how oppressive those Nehru's loves are. It's just something I just can't wrap my head around. Yeah, Nehru's love just having that big, like, I don't know how many frames of intangibility Zelda has an active for, but it is an insane amount of frames. It is just able to negate a lot of damage an opponent gets into you, but if an opponent gets in too close, yeah, you can best believe that Nehru's love will be Zelda's trump card in that opportunity here, but that is a smash art coming out from Elijah Min, and just being able to just pressure Ven into shield to the full bar throw. Man, Elijah Min is just all over Ven right before he even gets the chance to get up on that ledge. I do believe Elijah Min still has the hot blood from the uh, previous match, the previous set, which was very intense. So I would have to argue that he still has this boiling pressure inside him that is motivating him to destroy his opponent in this set in particular. He has an insanely so far one full stock basically, and he doesn't seem to be uh, willing to stop. He seems relentless in every single interaction. Proves it. Yeah. All right, down throw. I, I like that from Ven here. You can see that empty hop. That's the beautiful thing about Ven doing down throw. It, it's it's literally a homework assignment. Do you? Oh, I'm sorry. It's literally it's literally like a like a pop quiz. Do you know how to DI this properly? Do you not know how to DI this properly? Did you guess wrong? Oh, lose your stock. That's literally how it is when Ven, every time he does that down throw, he just knows how to execute on it so well. That's a great opportunity for Elijah to go for that counter because he knows how big it'll do just to get a round night, but also punish Zelda at the same time. Yeah, and even if you do know the answer of that pop quiz, well, you do know how to DI? Well, let me try it again. <laughs> and he knows <laughs> that once again. He's really good at recognizing these patterns and punishing them effectively. However, it is Elijah Min who is currently on a very comfortable lead, and he's just hopping from one side of the stage to the other. No worries, really, because even though his percentage is huge, he's still surviving, but that nearest love finally taking the stock. Yeah. He was lost off the deep end here, but on the on the main stage here, there's going to be that forward smash from Elijah, and he knows he wants to continue the stock lead all the way through. There is going to be the neighbor's love. No get up roll coming up from Elijah, and he knows if I get up roll here, then we'll be looking to combo me afterwards. Uh, set up with the knight here, Elijah Min with the shield here, trying to get that back hit of Nair, because we know how much characters like Shulk can do from that one on that confirm. Yeah, and recognizing where the nearest love is going to come out instead avoiding it. However, then being prepared for this allows to, to extend his string, his damage output. But again, not looking really hot in this first game. Then might be a little too cool, but hey, I don't I don't doubt for a single second that he's going to amp it up. Cell domains are insanely oppressive, or they can be at least. So uh, you have to be very patient at all times and respect every single option. However, Elijah Min taking a very commanding first game. Yeah, and speaking of patience, man, Elijah Min knows the patience will pay off just sticking to stick center stage. And then yeah. just waiting for Zelda to have the final slip up because you know that the one thing that Shulk and Elijah Min can accelerate not only as a player and character is to oppress the opponent at the ledges, man. We saw how good he was with those forward airs, causing Ven to hold shield on the getup. And then the forward there to take the stock. Ven knows if I go to the ledge, man, that Shulk will be on me. So let's try the stage. But unfortunately for a lot for Ven, Elijah Min will be there with an up tilt just like how he was there against Mr. E. Oh, definitely, and, and it's something that uh, Ven is going to have to be very aware of in the moving games, in the, in the following games, because it, it didn't seem like he was ready for the oppression that Elijah Min was going to bring. And it's understandable, you sometimes don't know the matchup that well, especially with Shulk, a very obscure character overall, but uh, I think it's the process. Basically, Ven needs to slowly but well really not slowly he needs to step it up right now because the changes that he needs to bring are imminent he needs to make 
insane adaptation because right now Elijah Min has all the heat from the previous set and he's taking it all into it uh, into this new set and he's showing how commanding he can be. Right now, both are being very careful overall, playing around neutral, trying to recognize where his opponent is going to move and using this these platforms on their favor to try to use either as a shield or as an extension option for, you know, Zelda can put the, the Phantasm in very uncomfortable positions and even more confirm and condition situations like these. It's going to make it even harder with that counter coming up right on time to avoid major punish yeah that's one of those things you want to do is avoid unnecessary damage here and for Van, the more unnecessary damage you can avoid here from elijah man the better and it's working out so far like being on a smaller stage will give ben the, the opportunity to bring out the aggression from elijah man and still kind of look to slowly work him and slow him down with night but also at the same time look at what it does for elijah man having a smaller stage will mean then will be in the closer proximity of his aerials yeah, definitely. And with the uh, the range that he gets with the Monado Sword, it's definitely going to pay off. Trying to catch him without a ch mildly charged, medium charged uh, forward up smash, it would have been destructive. That would have been the stock right there. But instead of opting for a little bit of a safer recovery, I like the use of platforms, but I think then could use a little bit more trying to shift where he's going to place that Phantom to extend damage. And we see it once again with Farore's win taking a beautiful first stock in this set yeah in this game sorry and that's one of ben's like surprise hits too it's one of those things yeah. like you have to really be ready it. he yeah. loves to go for out of shield man and it is the elevator and stairway to heaven and you don't want to get caught in that <laughs> yeah. yeah i know it's super smart the way he uses it and uh, it takes a lot of people off guard basically and and it's hard to react to it it's hard to to keep it in mind because you never know when he's going to use it and he might be able to use it to to condition you into forcing an option and punishing it accordingly so that's very smart from ben yeah look and i can only speak about ven and say what you want about zelda but the one thing about ven is he makes zelda so work so well and so aggressive to his advantage that he makes zelda entertaining to watch and that's the one thing i've always enjoyed about ven as a player he has all the little tools and little intricate knowledges of being the best zelda main in, like in the world that it's kind of one of those things of like, man, Ven is just incredible. The fact that he can even catch Elijah Man on the recovery there just goes to show Ven's knowledge as a player, but also as a, a, a character specialist. Definitely, and the pressure that he puts out is something that you have to respect and basically fear because the amount of damage that he can get out with all of those setups, it's insane, and he's showing it in this game number two. But again, Elijah Man trying to extend his strings so well, trying to get the stock insanely early, but this is just not enough. However, the percentage is definitely really, really good. And now, Ven, again, with another opportunity to take a stock insanely early if he gets a good confirm. Oh man, for, for Elijah and that up smash was reaching, but that forward air will not be reaching for Ven here. 101 63. Ven has definitely changed things around. What an excellent counter because you know Elijah had put that into play earlier and we'll finally see its full reveal. Back air with smash out here. Elijah has this one chance opportunity to make a comeback here up against Ven. I love that Nair because it's able to go through Knight and Zelda at the same time, man. You can cut two characters with one sword. Yeah, super smart and very well executed from Elijah Min. However, Ven has been using his Phantom way better, but that back here is going to seal the deal. Beautifully done from Ben. Great changes, actually, in this second game. <laughs> Great changes indeed, and the stage change definitely shows those changes as well, man. As ben puts a point on the board, man, putting us to game three here in the Losers Finals. Yeah, this is something that uh, Ven needs to take more advantage of. Using all of Zelda's tools, we know that the strongest ones are definitely the, the aerial moves, both in back air or forward air. They're insanely good at taking stocks, but uh, that Phantom is going to be pivotal when it comes to gaining stage control and or pressure by the ledge. Very smart use of the Phantom, and I would love to see more of it, actually, because of how well and how, calcul uh, how well calculator uh, calculated are, are these placements. It's very, very smart and just a, a lovely sight to watch. Three, two, one, go! 
Now yes. in this second, in this third game, actually, we're going to town and city uh, a stage that will actually allow them to move a little bit freer. It would allow Elijah Main to play around with his jump, Monado, or the speed even, to try to dominate the air at all times, which is something that uh, then with Zelda can pretty much fight against using Nero's love or any other option that allows him to catch him uh, in the air. Very interesting to see how this counterpick, stage counterpick, works in favor of of, um, of Elijah Min, who chose it, actually. Yeah. For Elijah Min, having a bigger stage altogether will allow him to essentially, effectively, have the space to move around not only night, but then as well. So those two will complement alongside with his wide range of Shulk's aerials as well. Pretty good stage choice altogether here for both players, and, and because it also gives Ven space to run away as well. But we talked about how that forward air pressure from Elijah Man in the first game went. Man, he brings that right back because he knows he's got to look at his entire knowledge from last game and this game in order to put out that game three on his side. Yeah, not only the pressure, but the conditioning too. Like it basically forced Ven to recover uh, with a regular get a ball, but the Farore win almost getting the stock. That shield working just in time. That would have been such a flashy stock. Instead, he is forced into a little bit more of neutral. And with that, Monado, the speed one oh, that allows him no. to move even faster, takes the stock with a beautiful stage pike. Elijah been positioning himself with a such with such a commanding lead in this game number three yeah and I, i'm telling you i've i've seen like the only example i can give and i'm sorry i don't see all the shulks in the world out there but i've seen nico corner carry his opponents with speed art because shulk has the speed oh, yeah. and movement oh, yeah. to carry you know, just like this but what a reversal from that man he says first time shame on me second time shame on you and i'm not gonna let you get away with it more than once yeah, definitely that Nair's love coming in clutch, completely unexpected. I, I didn't even see it coming, and I don't think Elijah Min did either. He was so comfortable with that string that he was holding that he completely forgot that Nair's love can't just stop you in your tracks. And just like that, very smart reversal from Ben. Smart reversal from Ven indeed. That backslash just missing, and that's a big punish from Ven. You can see Elijah Men use the dial storage to immediately switch to shield art just to avoid any unnecessary knockback in this case. So he he doesn't die any earlier than he'd want to. Yeah, Elijah Men is going to have to respect those uh interactions off stage because yeah, he can he can move you around from one side to the other. However, if you find yourself caught between that the blast zone and a uh, Nair's love, of course you're gonna struggle. So he's gonna be to be he's gonna have to be very careful. However, he's looking very comfortable and he just needs to confirm here to get the stock in the game. Yeah. I will say this, I am oh man, this back air and it sneaks right through Van with great DI is still able to survive. Man, but that forward air, will that be the time? And yes, it will be. Elijah Min moves up 2-1 over Van and putting him at set point. Sir, I'm telling you right now, we might see another game five tonight. You reckon? I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. However, Elijah Min, I do believe he has all the uh, the heat, as I mentioned. He has the, the, the intensity from the previous set. I do feel that he's slowly cooling down. And this is something that could bring, uh, that could come in favor for Ven. I have to agree with that one. However, Elijah Min, Elijah Min has been doing insane adaptations. And as I said, he's transitioning the aggression that he had to bring in the previous set to this one. And I think that might be enough to seal the deal in this set. He only needs one more game, basically. Yeah. And the real question here, man, is what if he if he does beat Ven? Right? I, I don't want to see a wash. I'm being honest with you. I love watching Ven's of the. I do want to see Game Five. For me, though, and for you, the the real question is, what's how are things gonna go down against Alan Dis? This Shulk is coming in with hot hands. So to switch your character into something like Me Gunner to slow the pace down against Alan Dis, you know yeah. what? Arguably one of the one of the finest snakes out there in the world. It, it's a whole different ballpark, man. It, it was one thing for Ven, but one thing for Alan Disc. We'll see, man. But let's, let's see if Ven will allow him to even get that far here as we get on to game four. 
Yeah, definitely Ven needs to make changes, important changes, even though I, w I liked his strategy in the previous game. He was very, very patient and methodical with the Phantom use. He was using it in tandem with his grabs, with Nero's love. Look at that confirm. That was such a good combo there, putting him in the right position for the Phantom to hit. And it's looking really good overall. However, Elijah Min does have this, this uh, ability to adapt and to make heaps of damage. And it's showing right now. Yeah, heaps of damage indeed here, and the smash art pretty much is going to be the heap of knockback that Elijah Man is going for that deep off forward and not going to be enough. Even though he does return with a B, he will not be able to also hit Ven as well. He's got stage control, that up smash? Yes! That is the hitbox. Yeah, it's so big, it just comes out from Shulk's feet. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if that was the right option uh, for Ven to recover, but there was really not much he could he could have done. Maybe a uh, um, get up attack that would have been the right choice at that moment. Because even if he jumped, it, he was gonna get caught. However, in those fractions of a second, it's very hard to make the right decision. And this is what separates the winners from the third places, fourth places, because it comes down to recognition in just a moment of a blink's eye. Uh, yeah. Eyes. Like, yeah, basically. Yeah, but eyes, eyes blink, man. And I'm telling you, sometimes I blink my eyes and I've missed so much in that little a little time. You'd be surprised when it comes to any player here. But then we'll get this back little man, because you know what? He's making sure our eyes do not blink. Our eyes are going to see everything that he can possibly do to get this comeback. And with this dash dance and this up throw with a DI mix up, then we'll definitely slowly and but surely look to get his way back into this comeback for sure. Yeah, good pummel waiting for the shield Monado to dis uh, dissolve, basically, to ensure a stock. Very smart from then. And with only 63%, he might be able to bring it back. He just needs to be very sneaky, very careful, and be very methodical with the options that he chooses. Because right now, Elijah Min is on the lead, and we know that he likes to take advantage of those. So it all comes down to how good Ven is able to bring it back, even uh, at a deficit at the moment. Yeah, down throw, this is gonna be a check. Yeah, this time, <laughs> Elijah Min will be able to pass the test only because of the platform being there to save him. It looks like he might've used the cheat sheet on that test for this one here. But uh, for Ven, able to catch that neutral layer, but also push the knight towards the ledge in case Elijah Min wanted to go there. What a smart play. Oh, wow, catching it from under the platform, under the stage, basically with that insane up air that Zelda has, taking a stock insanely early. He was not prepared for that, and I don't think we were either, because that was such a good option from Ven, taking a stock insanely early, and now he's the one in the lead, and he is keeping the aggression at all times. He's not letting him recover, and with that jump, he might be able to get it, but no, Elijah Ming doing a phenomenal job at recovering right there, even at a high pressure situation oh don't get me wrong elijah man i am i love looking at elijah man right now but you got to give ven that credit man this is a veteran level player oh no i am sorry for the shield poke that's one thing you have to be careful and i'll say this right now if you had angled your shield you might have actually been able to survive that because hurt boxes in ultimate are definitely a big factor in this game and you always want to look to angle your shield especially against movements like that this is quite literally the third time we've seen elijah man go for that move yeah, and no, and, and Ven is doing a phenomenal job at conditioning and forcing a recovery option from Elijah Min, going for the up throw again, trying to get a stock as he did earlier, but not being able to get it. He's looking really good. Ben is definitely positioning himself to bring us to game number five. He just needs the right reads and a few, a couple interactions in order to concrete this game five situation. Yeah, shield, shield art here for sure. Definitely one of those things for Elijah Min, only having a fraction of a second, but look at this corner carry alongside with the rage activated for Shulk, man, it would have been a stock to take. Buster Art, I do like that Elijah Min changes to it because he now knows I'm out of these options, I'm gonna have to fight. Why not fight for more percent so when I do go for opportunities against Ven, it'll be closer than, it, than I want it to be, than it should, as it should be. Definitely, and Ven needs to be very careful because Elijah Min is playing the patience game. He's being very careful, and if he, if Ven allows Elijah Min to get that smash, at, uh, smash Monado, which he's very close to get, well, he get, he has it, but I don't know if he's gonna use it just yet. He will get the stock because this percentage is really high. That shield allowing him to survive a little longer. Insane, <laughs> Elijah Min surviving, but they're getting hit with that phantom once again. We're going to. Get 
game number five, Benz. This is insane. Oh my god, I saw the counter. <laughs> and I was like, that was really good. Yeah, that was, was really good. I'm, I'm not surprised when we're seeing game five. Jesus, man. This, this has been a beautiful night. Not only for your debut, sir, but just an incredible night of just game fives all together. Jesus. Yeah, it has been. The the insane skill that these competitors bring is just it's just ridiculous. You love to see it. You love to see their interactions, their levels of adaptation. And just as you predictive, uh, predicted, your expertise is showing. Once again, bands, we're going to game number five. No changes. What stage are they going to pick? Is it going to uh, be detrimental to their mobility options, to their skill set, to their moves? We're going to town and city once again. A big stage for a big opportunity to get this loser's finals in this in this msm 57 yeah man it is literally game five it has been game five every single time for both players man and it's just incredible to see all the talent come out all together here but unfortunately there can only be one winner and one of them must be decided will it be van or elijah man playing against one of the Juana's finest players here, of course, Alan this We'll see who gets it here, because both of these players definitely want to have a chance and a go at this at this amazing, amazing player. But we'll see, as Elijah Min has a little bit of a deficit between him and Ven. Ven on 86, but Elijah Min able to break in through with these aerials, and the bus star has been activated to play that catch-up game. You can see it in their movement. The aggression that's coming out from them is just ridiculous. They're both trying their hardest right now. They're moving, they're, sm they're moving, they're mashing. They're trying their hardest, but that backer is going to connect right where it should and then positioning himself just very comfortable in this first stock, last game situation, 26% and the aggression keeps coming out at all times. Ben wants to take this second stock insanely early. Let's see if he can get it. Yeah, and Elijah Min can definitely take the stocks early with Smash Art, but not only that, we've seen how he's been able to corner carry Van with Speed Art time and time again. What a way to use the counter, Jesus! Never forget the counter! That <laughs> final sword just sticking out for that fraction of a second. I don't know what to say. I really definitely, don't know. <laughs> no, definitely unexpected. And if you're not ready for it, as you mentioned, you're going to pay the price. And just like that, Ben does pay the price. And he is now in an even situation with that Buster Monado again, shifting the tides of the percentage uh, once again. But now in Elijah Min's favor, he's trying to keep the aggression at all times. But they got to respect their options. Both the Phantom and the Nato's Love trying to extend or maybe even stop that kind of aggression that he's so well known for and with the smash monado he might be able to take this stock ridiculously early yeah and it's coming to be a possible situation here but good on vent to use flowers went for the recovery understanding that recovery also from elijah Min, but he gets his feet on the ground the forward smash and the end like from Ven will be the one thing that does him in i man this is going neck and neck man literally when we started this match it was Ven in the lead but just like that blink of an eye elijah Min has taken all the control here on a stock lead and 94 percent Ven is looking for an opportunity but can he find it elijah Min has just been all around this man yeah they have to respect each other and especially with those kinds of monado arts that are just so dangerous both the buster both the uh the, and the smash monado they just take stocks left and right and if you're not careful you're gonna pay the price and we've seen it so far then again struggling on the plat on the ledge they almost getting caught in that up smash that would have been it however elijah man keeps being very aggressive at all times even with the shield monado he keeps trying to put the aggression forth and it's working because the percentage is slowly climbing and if he gets the right moment and the right monado at the perfect time he's gonna get the stock insanely early as well yeah It's a moment of decision here. They need to be extremely careful at all times. Elijah Min, even though he has a huge deficit on that percent, he almost catches Ven with that forward smash and instead gets punished with a Farore's win. He needs to be really patient. Elijah Min has nothing to worry about because he has Shield Monado. He has a full stock of a lead, while Ven only has one stock in the percentage being insanely high. It's only a matter of seconds before that counter almost 
punishes in a deadly fashion. However, he still gets a fighting opportunity. Then with 90%, he wants to take this stock as soon as possible. And his aggression, his movement shows, but he gets Nita's maker with that forward smash right on the face. Perfect angle. Elijah Min moves over from losers finals to grand finals against 